So we should be live, but what I will do, I will just keep an eye on my Facebook a second um, for it to go live so that I can edit it and tag you in, edit the title, I should say. Um, with Heather. Can you see the live come up at your end? Oh, no, you probably can't, actually. It doesn't matter. No, I'm looking. It's right. I'm just going to make sure that it is for everybody to see. No. Right, we are good. So it has just gone live now. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I use this platform, it defaults that only I can see it. So I'll wait a minute for people to log in. I've just tagged you in. And I'll put my phone up on here. Let me just check. Right, so we are definitely live. Um, there we go, perfect, it is working now. All good and all good to go. So apologies as always for those who are watching on Catch Up. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, for those on Catch Up, you'll have heard me talking for the last minute, saying I wait for people to log in. So let me know if you are logging in live or logging in on Catch Up. So comment below. It'd be fab to see who is logged on. So like I say, happy Tuesday and thank you for logging into my live. This is my third Tuesday Live. Now I said I was going to be logging in every Tuesday, talking about something different, sharing something different. And this evening, I'm really excited because I've got my beautiful cousin Heather on and she is going to, I'm going to ask her some questions really. She doesn't really know what I'm going to ask her, but I'm really intrigued by what she does. So um, she is qualified at an advanced level in crystal healing um, mm -hmm. and obviously practices Reiki as well. Of course, with COVID, she can't do that at the moment, as nobody can. But you're, what, are you about four weeks away from being able to do that again, Kev? Is it four or five weeks, April? Um, yeah, I've got a session booked in, in June to do my Reiki, so so I am one of those people that's really intrigued by all of this and when I saw like I spoke to him a few years ago I'm like tell me more like what is it I don't get it and it'd be interesting to see comment on the um on the live if you know anything about crystals healing Reiki or if you have no idea whatsoever because that was me so if that is you if you can Heather like explain to us like what is it that you do? Or like briefly try and explain what it is it that you do. <laughs> okay, so um, at the moment, as you know, I sell crystals. Um, so crystals are um, mother's, um, ugh, mother's earth gift to us, basically. So they are grown within the ground and they are packed with energies. Um, energies then that when we hold, they will go into our um, aura field, so our energy field, and then they'll make us feel better. Um, they can uplift us, um, they can protect us and guide us. Um, that's that's pretty much it. They can heal us as well. Um, yeah, they're amazing. So what made you get into it? Oh my god. So it was probably it was well over 15 years ago and someone that I worked with um started talking about crystals and she's like, look, I've got some in my purse. So it's like, oh, so you have stones and not money in your purse, which she didn't like and I didn't understand at the time. So she carried on telling me and then she took me to um a crystal shop, which was just around the corner from where we worked. Um, and instantly, as soon as I walked in, I absolutely loved it. I just felt the energy that you, you know, as soon as I walked in, the energy, I just felt dead calm. It was dead peaceful, dead tranquil. And I loved it. I instantly loved it. So I bought, I think I bought about five crystals and then a book. And then from there, my collection grew. And it's gone absolutely ridiculous, my collection now. So, yeah. <laughs> so about so, 15 years ago something like that amazing 
Amazing. So for somebody brand new that is maybe logged into this live, and for those of you that are watching, like um, this is Heather coming massively out of her comfort zone live on normal Facebook. She has got an amazing page, which I have tagged on this um, live. So click on her page and watch her lives because obviously she's in a flow talking about her, her business and her crystals on her page. But on normal Facebook, I know she hates me for asking her to do this, but I'm really intrigued. So for anybody that is new and watching, like, I still, you know, what, how would you get somebody new into this or what, what would be your recommendation? How would you start somebody new? with Where, where would they start? What would they look at? Um, so I always say when choosing crystals, go with your gut instinct. It's the best form of crystals. Um, is, you know, whatever you feel drawn to, they're the crystals that you need. You might not necessarily know that you need them, but for some reason you're drawn to it. Um, you, there's also like, I do a starter pack as well with the the main crystals so like your rose quartz your amethyst your clay quartz so start small learn a couple first and then progress from there and you would help people do that so yeah, anybody yeah, yeah. Well, anybody you tell that is interested that doesn't know where to start that's struggling you know send me a message i can do uh face calling you know we can do facetiming um i can show the crystals explain it a bit more that wouldn't be a problem at all uh, and I know you are going to share some information in a second, but I know that you are very, very responsible when it comes to sourcing your crystals. So tell us a little bit more about how they're sourced. So the um, where they come from, there's miners that actually go deep underground to get them. Now, a lot of um, companies don't look after the miners um some of them are lucky if they get paid a pound a day just to mine in which is ridiculous compared into our money um so i go to suppliers that are ethically sourced that will look after the miners that will look after the family that will make sure that they get a proper pay and proper health care i unless if i'm unsure about a certain supplier and whether they're ethically sourced and look after their miners i will not touch them at all oh, i love that I love that and that is so important isn't it so i don't know if, like anybody's commented on here on the like do any of the crystals that heather's mentioned does anybody have any anybody have any like feedback any comments anything that you're using at the moment because what heather's going to do she, because still a lot of people might be like i still don't get it like so you buy a crystal <laughs> so hey you're going to just share a few aren't you now just to give people a little yeah. bit of information so I'll hand it over to you for a few minutes and just give people like so if somebody was like new now and like well I don't know what that crystal is tell us a little bit of info about a few of the crystals yep, sure. so the first one that I was going to show you was the rose quartz so this is like a pale pink um, a good first starter it's all about love uh, whether that's self-love love in relationships friends family um, good for your heart chakra so for anyone that doesn't actually know we have seven main chakras that start from the base of the spine up to the top of our head being the crown uh, so we've got one right where our heart is and that's that so if we have a broken heart sometimes it can get blocked um, we need to release that because then we're not being ourselves and we're not being true so the rose quartz would be perfect to help unblock that heart chakra to release that blockage that's in that heart chakra um another good one as a first time thing is citrine which is this yellow one um i like to call it the um sunshine stone um it's good for happiness and also wealth as well so it will um, promote wealth and abundance um but as well as joy and happiness as well who have it so this one is actually quite quite a yellow color um and then one that sort of i actually like i think sometimes it gets um maybe oversighted sometimes and that's the i don't know if you can see that there i don't know how clear it's coming across this is selenite now selenite is absolutely brilliant for charging up crystals um after a while crystals like a phone you know crystals die like just like a phone does and it needs recharging it needs re-energizing um you can do that in the moon um when there's a full moon so the energies from the full moon will help charge the crystal or if it's in between like moon phases this is absolutely perfect so you could place your crystals on top of this overnight following morning they're good to go 
Not only that, selenite's good for cutting cords. So we all have an aura that goes around us, which is our energy field. When we hug people, our auras are, are connecting together. Um, if that person, if you're feeling upbeat and you hug that person that's um, quite down, them energy cards are going to come to you. So then later on in the day, you might feel a bit low. One, go over your body with the selenite ward. Take away them cards. It will help. And then it'll help uplift you again. Wow. So what would you do with these crystals then, Heather? So if I was to purchase one of the crystals, like you said, your friend had it in a purse. What, is there any where that you meant to put it, not put it? What you meant to um, do with it? It's entirely up to you where you feel comfortable. The closer that it is to you, the better it is because it's still sitting within your energy field. Um, so, for example, the rose, quite any any tumble crystals like this and the citrine that I've shown you, I tend to place them in my bra. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, not going to lose them. We're not going to go anywhere. Um, I stick them in my bra. They're close to me. They're, they're close to me there. Uh, pocket, your hands, your purse. You can have them placed in around the house as well. So you're lifting the vibration. You're lifting that energy up. Um, having them around your own. Do you remember? I've got bracelets as well. I've got um, chip necklaces as well. Um, yeah, it's you can as long as you've got it close to you, it's gonna work with your your energies. Wow. So I know it is like really fascinating. I, I'm fascinating, but still really confused at the same time. Is that normal? Do you think? Like yeah, a lot of a lot of people tend to over overthink it, um, and it's, it genuinely isn't that complicated at all. Um, it's you know, it's people think, well, how does it work? Why does it work? Um, it's magic. It genuinely is magic. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the way it makes me feel. I was going to say, what's the best benefit that you've had from Crystal? Like, what name something that um, did it make me? Did it make me happy? Did it make me, you know, um, the uplift me? Um, they've helped with sleep as well. So amethyst, I've got a bit of amethyst. I've got an amethyst bracelet. So that looks like the purple, deep purple. Uh, that's good for sleeping, nightmares. Put it under your pillow. And perfect with that. Wow. So how, how if for anybody like brand new to this, how long would you sort of say like to give it time, if you like, to sort of feel a difference or see a difference? Is there a time frame or? If you're connected with that crystal, then pretty much straight away. So a quick story, because I don't know what how we are for time. Quick story. Um, my sister um, didn't at one point, didn't believe in crystals at all, which was fair enough. Our first death of the family uh, was my grand, my mum's mum. Mom, and she was staying at the house, at, the, at my house at the time and couldn't sleep. She went, get your stones out. That'll put me to sleep because she just, she just genuinely didn't believe in it. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was joking. She was joking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She didn't, oh. I just didn't believe it. So I knew what this one particular crystal was. So I'm talking through the crystals. I'm like, you hold that. And I literally seen the her face change, her whole facial expression completely change. It was like this calm of washed over her and I knew I knew straight away what it was. Didn't say anything, put all the crystals back, took that one off her, and then this anxiety washed over her again. And we it was. It was an anxious time because it being the you know, the first death of the family was all on pins because we didn't know what to expect or anything. And then I give it a back. And I've just seen it wash over again, this calm. And I went, have you noticed something? She went, yeah, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> and he thought it was weird. I was like, weird, really? You're yeah. speaking to someone that's got loads of crystals. <laughs> that's why I asked the question, because sometimes people go with, am I seeing the results? Am I feeling the results? Am I just thinking it? Is it a placebo effect? So that's why I asked ask the you know the question and i think that's what lots of people will obviously be you know thinking of because you know for anybody that is maybe looking at 
a little bit more information or looking at what crystals are what. Like I say, I've tagged your link to your page on here. So have a nosy on Heather's link because she's got loads of videos on there explaining. But also on the back of tonight's live, she has been very, very kind and said that anybody that um, does want to order anything or wants to message her or anything like that on the back of this live tonight, just drop her a message, let her know. And she has got some really, really good discounts, especially if you are brand new to... The, the crystal scene, shall we say. Because um, you, you've had a bit of a super sale on last week, didn't you, on Friday that worked really well? Yeah, I had a Friday, um, which was a bracelet and uh, crystal to go with it. So you can wear your bracelet and you get your crystal with you as well. Um, so I'm still going to run that. So if anyone is interested, send me a message. Um, I have been up till 11 o'clock I think Friday night and Saturday message people messaging me so please you know I just ask away it doesn't matter you know no questions a stupid question when it comes to crystals yeah and if it is I've already asked it and I have like, <laughs> because I am super fascinated and that is why I wanted to get um Heather on my live this evening I actually said this in my first live when I said I want to start like talking to people and sharing other businesses and sharing information because I think this is just a mega platform to help other people in business and share more info and I know how many people love what Heather does so I thought I would jump on not like interview you as such i've just asked you questions it's not been as bad as you thought has it <laughs> but drop her a friend request or go on a page message her any questions at all and like i said anything that you do want then she's been very kind and said that she'll extend some of her offers that she did last week for you guys if anybody has got any questions as well that they want to fire on this live if you're watching on catch up for instance comment in here heather is tagged in this video on facebook so she will see your question as well and like she said no question is a silly question is it no not at all <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Like I said, I know this is you massively coming out of your comfort zone, isn't it? On normal, on normal Facebook. I've never done anything like this before. And I was like, oh, what's she going to ask me? What if I don't <laughs> <have you answer?" laughs> well, And I am super grateful that you are, um, you have said that you would come on and be my guest this evening. But I am not going to make you talk anymore because I think. <laughs> We could be here all night, couldn't we? I know you could share your passion, but that is for people to message you separately and have an OZ on your page. And hopefully people will really get into it and really start to ask you some funky questions like I did. Um, so we will love you all and leave you all. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, thank you again, Hev, for being my guest this evening. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and I will see you all soon. See you soon, everyone. Bye. Bye.